We are here in uh, building 32, which is where our chamber B is, uh, one of uh, the vacuum chambers we have here at Johnson Space Center that's uh, rated to be used by humans. Uh, one of the ways we simulate space here on Earth. And with us, we've got Christina M. Chondo, who is the test director for um, some tests we've been doing with the Z1 space suit that we have here behind us and the suit port. Thanks so much for joining us, Christina. Thank you for having me. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. Thank good, you. good, good. Um, so, obviously, we're not at vacuum, but we are in a vacuum chamber. Why don't we start there? Tell us what a vacuum chamber kind of does and, and why we would do a test in it. Okay. Well, uh, we use the vacuum chambers to simulate space. Uh, we will. During a test, we would uh, remove all the air inside the chamber, reducing the pressure inside, uh, just to get give us a feel for that uh, the environment of space. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are multiple reasons why we would want to test in space. One, we want to make sure that our hardware uh, will survive the environment of space, and uh, also for uh, being able to get a fit, uh, a feel for the for the for the suit and how um, how it would operate okay. in an, in a space like environment. So this, okay, let's kind of go one piece at a time here. Z1 suit. This is new, the Z1 suit. New suit we're designing for exploration, yes. right? Yes. So we want to do different things uh, when we go into future exploration. Uh, on the space station, you use your hands a lot for exploration. If you're going to, say, an asteroid or Mars, you would be walking around a lot. Um, and that requires different space suits. So we're working on a new design. And then we also, uh, part of the design is that it would in be incorporated with a space a suit port. And tell us a little bit about a suit port. What, what does that do? Well, the suit port is the interface between your space vehicle and the exploration suit. Uh, so this would the suit port allows you to quickly uh, get into the suit and be ready for exploring. Mm -hmm. um, so right here, it looks kind of it's kind of against a wall, but in real life, in the future, it would be on the end or on the outside of a, a vehicle, a rover or a spaceship of some sort. That's right. This will be hanging off the back um, outside while the crew, the astronauts, are inside and then they can open this part up, right? And then climb in from the back. Yes, there's a hatch on the other side. Uh, so you would open the, the hatch, get inside, uh, close the hatch, and then the, uh, the volume inside is uh, equalized with the outside, with the outside environment, and that allows you to uh, detach from the suit port and begin exploring. Okay, and um, let's see, we were talking earlier about vacuum, um, Obviously, on the outside in space, this part where we are now would be at a vacuum, but inside it would be at a little bit lower air pressure than we have on the space station. That's about sea level. It would be lower because it's smaller volume. We can keep it lower, and then this is the same, at the same air pressure, which makes it quicker. We don't have to do a pre-brief protocol like you've probably seen for spacewalks if you watch NASA TV, right? Right. Okay. Um, so tell us how the tests work. What what have, what have y'all been having done here? What have we been doing this week? Uh, so this is a different design of suit port. So a couple mm -hmm. of uh, months ago, we were testing a, uh, a suit port design that uh, had clamps on it, and they were actuated by a motor. This suit port design does not use a motor. It uses airbags and um, flippers. And um, so it's, it's seeming to it's work. It's been working very well. Um, in order to undock from the suit port, we'll put air into these airbags and the flippers would rotate into the undock position, releasing the, the subject. So we've been kind of practicing that, evaluating the suit port, and at the same time evaluating the, uh, the suit itself. So the test subjects would actually release from the suit port, come out, uh, bend over, see if they could uh, adjust their boots, and uh, turn around, inspect their suit port, make sure everything's okay, and, and practice uh, redocking to the suit port. Okay, so you've had, uh, I guess, engineers and astronauts yes, on the have, other side of this wall? <laughs> yes, yes. Inside the suit, we've had uh, engineering test subjects as well as crew. Okay, and they climb in and, like you said, just kind of do the, uh, the lever to uh, release themselves and walk away and then basically redo it and get redock. back out. Yes. So, and that helps you just make sure that this, this idea of the suit port works and... Yes, it's, it's, to, dem it's to demonstrate um, pressurized donning of the suit for one. So during the test, the chamber is at reduced pressure, creating a pressure differential across the suit. Mm -hmm. So the, uh, the test subject would don a pressurized suit. So we're evaluating how well that works because it's, uh, it's different, than, it's different than what we do now. And uh, the other part of the evaluation is to just uh, evaluate the donning, uh, the docking and undocking of the suit port right. in the pressurized suit. So right now the suit is not pressurized. The suit is not pressurized. Right How now. is it different when it is? It gets uh, stiffer. Uh -huh. uh, it'll start inflating like a like a balloon mm -hmm. uh, as we reduce the pressure. 
And so that's something you really can't test outside of the vacuum chamber, right? That's right. And you want to know how that's going to work before you go into space and do it for the first time. Definitely. But everything's going well so far? It is. It's been, very, it's been going very well. We're very excited. We've had uh, two uh, test subjects come through this week, and we expect three more next week. Mm -hmm. And I think this is kind of the, the final milestone of the year for y'all, right? Yes. And um, yes, kind of all of your work's been leading up to proving that the suit port works, and, and we think that it does. Right. Yes, it So does. hopefully we'll be seeing that in the future as we uh, move out beyond low Earth orbit. 